Hi, today I'm going to be taking a look at a piece of photographic equipment from the 1980s that has long since been forgotten and overlooked and many people nowadays would regard this piece of equipment as being completely useless. However, I find it very useful myself and I will explain to you why. I'm going to talk to you in this video about this little piece of plastic, which is an adapter. Some of you may remember back in the 1980s, a lot of cameras, especially 126 and 110, took something called a flip flash. On the top of the camera there was a slot and you would insert what was called a flip flash on top. You would basically have about four to six shots on one end and when you used all those shots you would flip it over and use the other four to six shots on the other end. Hence the name flip flash. Now this little piece of gear allowed you to convert from the flip flash connection to a regular hot shoe connection. Now this is very rare and as you can see it's made by a company called Sunpack. I was very lucky to find this online. I bought it off of eBay. I think I paid about $20 for it and I'm very glad I did because I still use a number of cameras that take that flip flash connection. And as many of you know, flip flashes are no longer manufactured. You can still find them as new old stock on places like eBay, however, usually the prices are way too expensive. With this little fine device, I can very easily plug it into the flip flash connection and just use a standard uh, flash that runs on AA batteries. A wonderful little invention. So, I'm going to take a closer look at this little piece of gear. Let's see how it works. So, as I mentioned, this little piece of photographic gear is indeed a relic from the past. And as you can see, it is made by the Sunpack company, which is still operating today. I see that Sunpack still makes uh, various photographic gear and various photographic accessories. And again, this little piece of equipment was designed to transfer or to adapt the flip flash connection to a regular hot shoe connection. And I'll just give you a look here. If I show you here on the bottom, there we have the regular the flip flash connection. And I'll show you how that gets inserted into the top of a camera later. So you would stick that into the top of the camera into the flip flash port. And on the top there, you've got your hot shoe connection. Now, as I mentioned, uh, these things are pretty rare. I only see them pop up on eBay now and then. I was very lucky to find one myself about a year ago. I bought this on eBay. I think I paid between, I don't know, $25 to $30 for it. And for me, it was definitely worth it. I do have a number of old cameras that use the flip flash connection. And actually, the very first camera I ever owned, it was given to me as a gift in the mid 80s was the Kodak Instamatic X15F, which took a flip flash connection or had a flip flash connection. So something like this was very useful at that time because again, the flip flashes back then were, were not cheap. And for, you know, at the time I was only 12, 13 years old. So for a kid in the mid eighties, one of these flip flashes could easily cost between four to six dollars. And for a kid in the mid eighties, that, that was a fair amount of money. That would be a lot of allowance money for many kids back then. So this was definitely something that I had always heard of and I always thought was really neat and really useful. So I was very excited to finally get my hands on one. So I'm going to show you how this connects actually to a camera. And I'm going to show you my actual Kodak Instamatic X15F. There you have it. From back in the day, the, my actual first camera that I ever owned in all its glory. So I'll show you how this connects. So again, we have the top there with the flip flash connection. And again, I stick it in there. And there we go. It's pretty much ready to accept a standard flash. Now I'm going to attach my flash unit to the top of the camera and I will show you I have 
a classic Vivitar 2600 flash unit. So I'm going to fire that up. Okay, we can hear it firing up there. And I'm going to attach it to the top of the camera using that flip flash connector. And there we can see the flash has been connected and it's all ready to go. So just to show you that this thing actually works, I'm going to fire off a shot. Yep, and it works fine. As you can see, when you look at the camera, plus the flip flash connector and the standard flash, it becomes quite uh, big and bulky and cumbersome and kind of hard to maneuver. But it does actually work. And it does bring new life to all those old cameras that you may have laying around that maybe you want to use and you want to use a flash, but of course flip flashes are no longer manufactured. And I will tell you that sometimes flip flashes do pop up on eBay as new old stock, but they're never cheap. Uh, usually they will sell for at least $20. So if you can get your hands on one of these adapters, that's definitely the way to go. I'll also tell you, some of you may be wondering, can you still buy 126 film? 126, of course, being the format that this camera takes and that many cameras took back in the day. Well, technically, no. They don't make 126 film anymore. However, there is an adapter that you can fill with 35 millimeter film and then put it in a 126 camera. It's called the Facmatic, and I'm going to be doing an another video reviewing the Facmatic, so stay tuned for that. It's a really fun little a device that you can use to bring new life to your old 126 cameras. Again, it basically enables you to put 35 millimeter film into the adapter and then basically drop it into these old cameras and away you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Sunpack Flip Flash adapter. Definitely a fun little piece of photographic history. If you ever happen to stumble upon one, definitely pick it up. Again, they are extremely rare. They only pop up on eBay once in a while, so if you find one and it's in working condition, you're very lucky. Thank you for watching. I hope you can join us again next time. Leave us a comment below in the comment section. Give us a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. You see that little red square in the bottom right corner? Just click on that and you'll be able to subscribe to the channel. It's as easy as that. I post new tech reviews all the time and often my tech reviews are photography related. I love to take a look at vintage and obsolete photography gear from days gone by. So if you're into that as well, this is the channel for you. So please feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. I hope to see you again next time. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>